Hey, Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going over how to distribute power within immersive engineering and how to control that power also. So to output power, all you're going to need to do is click this to orange on any side of your accumulators and input is blue. This one is the LV accumulator, which holds 100,000 RF. Next tier is 1 million RF or forge energy. And then finally, the top tier, 4 million, which is the HV accumulator. And uh, that's Forge Energy and RF also. So to connect these up with your machines or other batteries, you are going to need LV connectors. Now, it's fine if you just want to use an LV connector to an LV connector, but that is a single connection. You cannot connect uh, an LV connector and LV connector more than once. And that's where our relays come in. We have LV wire relays for each tier, which is LV, MV, and HV. You cannot connect HV with MV. Next, uh, if you want to transfer the power, all you have to do is click our relay, run it over to these batteries over here, and make sure that they have input, which is blue, and they're going to start uh, sending the power out of here, up into your relay, and then down into these here. Wait, that's why I was working. All right, output. Always make sure you got the right output. So there you go, it's transferring it. Next, we have a way to control your redstone manually, or not redstone, but your power. So this is the breaker switch. You're just going to run it into a relay or direct connect. And you're just gonna shift and click this little square. It doesn't need a connector like other machines or batteries. Same thing on the other side, just shift click it and then bring it over to your connector. Now this one is manual, you just give it a click. wonderful sound effects and that's going to allow the power to flow through here into your battery and stop it whenever you want manually. Now for me, I'm a redstone guy, so I love to be able to control things with redstone and that's where your redstone breaker comes in. You're just going to run your power just like we did from the other connectors up into your relay and down into your redstone breaker and then from this other side connect it to your battery or your machine. Now, as you can see, this one's automatically going up and we made a little display here so we can pull uh, how much RF or forge energy is inside the battery with a comparator. And as it grows, it's going to light up here. And then finally, it hits our redstone uh, repeater, sends a signal back, and it's going to shut it off and stop the power from going in. And you actually just need to make it a straight line so it's actually running in there. So that's my fault. And there you go, it automatically shuts it off. So you can control your redstone automatically. Say if this battery's half full, it'll shut this off. And you can customize that as much as you like or have a, you know, a cool little display here, visual display without having to look at your batteries. Now, a lot of you might be wondering about the current transformer. We did a video on that all on its own, so go check that out. And then finally, uh, one of the most important things here is I said we cannot connect these together, and that's not totally true. We actually need current transformers, and it's apparently raining. Uh, so this one is the HV connector, and what this one does is takes your HV power from uh, your batteries here and runs it into there, and it's automatically going to switch. You don't have to worry about this one being taller. It's going to switch over to HV. That turns HV power into MV. We'll just run it into the relay like we should. And the same thing for the regular transformer, but this one will not take HV power. It only takes MV. You can take MV off there. Same thing, run it over here into your LV. So if you do want to downgrade your power from an HV battery, because these lower tier connectors will not work, with this, all you need is a current transformer, and that's going to let you downgrade it and use different batteries and different uh, cables and whatnot. And that's pretty much it for this one. If I missed anything, comment below, help the community out. But I think I've covered most of it, and that's it for this. If you found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe.